It's 8 a.m. in northern Chile. As people on shore begin their day, 25 kilometers below the Earth's surface, tectonic plates shift in a massive earthquake. Immediately, seismographs detect this activity, and computers begin determining the quake's epicenter and magnitude. Within seconds, people feel the powerful shaking, strong enough to knock them to the ground and damage buildings. This is a warning sign of a possible tsunami. Without waiting for an official tsunami warning, people start evacuating to high ground or the top floors of tall buildings. A tsunami is a series of potentially deadly ocean waves created by a powerful undersea earthquake that can last for hours. 76% of the world's deadly tsunamis have occurred in the Pacific Ocean. In 1960, a magnitude 9.5 quake off Chile's central southern coast caused a tsunami that claimed lives across the Pacific Ocean. Sensor data from a global network is continuously transmitted to the tsunami warning centers in Chile and Peru, as well as the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center, PTWC, in Hawaii, where duty officers assess the tsunami threat. The PTWC serves as the operational headquarters for the International Tsunami Warning System for the Pacific. The PTWC analyzes data and issues tsunami threat advice for countries throughout the Pacific Ocean. This information is vital for nations that are too far away to feel the earthquake, but may be in the tsunami's path. The Pacific Tsunami Warning and Mitigation System is coordinated under the UNESCO Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission. It covers 46 countries of the Pacific Ocean and its marginal seas, and was started in 1965 in response to the deadly Chile tsunami of 1960. Early readings indicate the earthquake is at least a magnitude 8.8 .8 and located off Chile's northern coast. Later readings will ultimately show it to be 9.5. This shallow undersea earthquake creates a giant tsunami. Officers at the Tsunami Warning Centers in Chile and Peru issued tsunami early warnings to all coastal towns in the vicinity. The tsunami is expected to arrive in as little as 10 minutes in Chile and 45 minutes in Peru. Emergency responders and news organizations act on the tsunami warning and immediately announce the evacuation. The PTWC completes its initial earthquake analysis and issues the first tsunami threat bulletin to all countries in the tsunami's predicted path. Officers from the PTWC call the tsunami warning centers to advise them on their forecast. Some countries have their own tsunami forecasting capabilities, while others rely on the PTWC's tsunami advisory services. Early warnings with accurate tsunami forecasts depend on contributions from all countries and the free and open sharing of real-time seismic and sea level data. The PTWC forecasts that tsunami waves of five meters or more will arrive in Hilo, Hawaii and Samoa in 14 hours and in Japan in 22 hours. The PTWC issues its second bulletin with predicted wave heights to all countries. The first of many tsunami waves strike the Chilean coast. Fortunately, due to regular tsunami evacuation drills and the early response, no one was in the danger zone when the waves crashed ashore. There are no casualties. The PTWC reports on observed waves for Chile. The third wave was the largest and arrived 30 minutes after the first. The PTWC monitors tsunami threats and advises countries across the Pacific. Each nation issues its own tsunami warning and guides its own emergency response. In Samoa and Hawaii, tsunami warnings are issued and evacuation begins. Local authorities quickly spread the word about the tsunami alert and carry out their response plans. The PTWC continues monitoring and issuing updated bulletins and reports. 14 hours after the earthquake, the tsunami strikes Hawaii and Samoa. Thanks to status bulletins and advice from the PTWC, these areas have fully evacuated. The natural disaster causes extensive property damage, but no lives are lost. The tsunami sweeps across the Pacific Ocean. Tsunami warning centers on the western side of the Pacific issue warnings in preparation. 
While emergency management authorities in those countries determine areas of evacuation, Hawaii and Samoa have canceled their warnings and deployed search and rescue teams. Chile and Peru begin the process of digging out from their earthquake and tsunami damage. This scenario was fictional and meant to illustrate how all the elements of the Pacific Tsunami Warning System work together to save lives across the Pacific in the event of a tsunami. The Pacific Tsunami Warning System is an evolving system that saves lives. Only with ongoing long-term support can the PTWS stand ready to warn nations in time to take action. No one knows when and where the next deadly tsunami will occur. But we must remain prepared, for it could happen today or 50 years from now.